very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking what you are seeing right here in front of you is the results of the past 10 trading days from our extreme trader forex signals group on telegram and i decided that i'm gonna take a screenshot of each and every day till today from the past uh, since the 19th of february of course there are some missing uh, signals in the screenshot but however because simply they cannot fit in the picture so i couldn't do anything anyway the majority of the signals went in a big and deep profit as we can see uh, february tw uh, 19th and february 22 as well look at that all of the days all, all actually all of the signals went in a very good profit same goes to 25th february as well uh, a small and minor losses here and there but of course the big the, the profits were much bigger 50 pips of profit here euro pound 50 pips of profit as well then we go to uh 24th february as we can see all the signals almost all of them were in a very good profit a very tiny small losses zero pips or this, this uh, see, yeah, i think this is eight eight pips of uh, loss 17 pips of loss against 120 pips of profit for the pound and zd euro pound 50 sorry euro gpy 50 pips of profit then 23rd and 24th full of profit i mean 100 percent signals all of them went in a very good profit same goes as well to uh 22nd february as well uh, we are continuing here the, actually this picture should be here and therefore as you can see the signals are doing very well and of course um the period from the first to fifth of march angela was sick and therefore these are the signals from 8th uh, march till 12th of march and thankfully also monday was a very big success as we can see all of the almost all of the signals went in a good profit um also this day as well tuesday was good however it's important to mention of course yeah wednesday was a really good day however th uh, uh, thursday i have to be honest and transparent with everyone thursday we had a bad day sadly the market went in high volatility and unfortunately we had to close almost not almost actually we closed all of the signals in a loss but however i want to remind everyone that the losses were really so tiny as well 20 pips of loss 23 28 10 14 i mean guys we are not letting the signal to hit the stop loss i mean the the entire losses didn't even reach 80 pips of loss actually much less than that and this is what we are doing in extreme trader we are not promising profits we are not telling you that you're definitely gonna make profits some days will be bad and for that we're telling everyone to prepare uh friday actually was somehow not i, I would i won't say that it's a perfect day we had a tiny small losses but the profits were actually quite big uh on some of the signals but however the majority of the signals are doing really very well and it's not fair at all in my opinion to judge the service over one bad day i would give my signals 9 of 10 because of this bad day uh, otherwise it would be 10 of 10 uh, rate so i think uh, we are doing really very well and the signal is doing fantastic however uh, forex is not a guaranteed market some days will be bad and for that we have to prepare otherwise uh, we are not going to make any money actually the key in success in tra trading forex even with a signal or without signals is the proper money management without that actually you cannot really make any profit from forex anyway i believe we are doing so well and the signals are fantastic so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now what's happening with the euro usd the pair actually has faced a previous resistance as we can see right here on the daily chart uh, the pair is facing right now a previous resistance and right now that previous resistance has become now a new support now if you want to see it clearly you can go now let me just delete this line here we can go to the weekly chart now on the weekly chart you can see it much better i believe right now we are facing right here what seems like the first attempt of a new support so this is actually a support number one and right now the pair seems like it's going to continue the rise until it reaches the peak of the resistance at 1.21825 uh, let's go back to the daily chart and as we can see right here my friends if we draw right here a support a trend line like this we can see clearly what happened um what happened is we had here a support trend line on the daily chart and the euro usd has finally made uh, a breakout from th uh, that support trend line right now in my opinion 
the pair is actually in, on its way to retest the broken support trend line therefore we can expect from the euro usd to continue the rise a little bit more till it reaches the peak of the resistance as i said right here and that's gonna be of course our target because right now we are planning to start buying the euro usd now someone might tell me but Salah, this is this is interesting sala we as per your strategy we had right here a previous resistance and right here we had a strong bearish breakout candle from that support so therefore that resistance has to keep its position again as a resistance now actually guys it doesn't work this way remember my strategy is all about scalping only not if you want to to, to actually uh, swing trades or actually you are planning to keep your trade for a long time uh, this strategy works actually only for scalping because as we can see right here at the peak of the resistance right here at the peak of the resistance uh, that indeed has happened and the market has reversed look at that the candle has closed as a as a red candle so it was a bearish candle meaning that strategy has indeed worked but however on the long run that cannot be applied um, also if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement like that we can see that the pair has just recently reversed from Fibonacci 61.8 retracement therefore it's not really um, in my opinion it's not the right thing at all to uh, short the euro USD we need to start looking for buying it so therefore the question is where we can start again buying the euro USD now we need to analyze the pair so let me just show you something here since we have analyzed everything on the daily chart let's now go to the four hour time frame to identify our entries so where we can actually start entering the buy order for the euro usd right now what we can see right here look at the momentum the market is actually making a pullback. It's, it's like a pulses and the market is actually respecting these uh, retracements however in my opinion what we can see right here that we had here a, a breakout candle uh, from that previous resistance right here and that that pre uh, previous uh, resistance has already become a new support so if i'm not mistaken our best option to start buying the euro usd is gonna be at the next attempt of the support so when the market actually reverse uh, for another i would say 40 maybe about 38 for 37 pips like that or maybe you can say 40 pips we can start again buying the euro usd at the second attempt of the support and if we look carefully on the left let me just show you this if we look carefully at the left right here we can see that the very same level of that previous support right here wasn't let me show, delete it okay focus guys the the same level of the support right here was indeed as the same level of the strong key resistance level and right here as well and these what we can call as a fake breakouts because indeed after the breakout happened and after the bearish breakout happened as well from that level of the resistance the market has reversed even right here look at that even right here the market has reversed exactly on the very same level of the resistance so we have one two three four uh, four attempts on the very same level of the resistance and that resistance not right now is becoming a new support That being said, this is in my opinion the best level where we can start again buying the euro USD because it is actually the strongest level as a resistance and a support as well therefore Euro USD should be good for the buy at one point. Oh, so, sorry. So my bad Okay, buy from 1.19 109 and of course the target is if we go back to the daily chart as i mentioned guys the target is going to be fibonacci retracement 38.2 uh, which was the peak of the resistance as well so therefore that's going to be actually our target exactly like this so we are actually aiming about 145 pips of profit from this deal so the take profit level is going to be 1.20564 now regarding the edge of the safe zone the edge of the safe zone should actually be ranging just a little bit below that support level let's go back to the four hour time frame and as we can see we're having here another support level so just in case the market might actually go below that level of the support and reverse exactly right here uh, we need to step to make our safe zone just a little bit below that support level so it's going to be just like that so the safe zone should be ranging for about uh 60 pips i would say which is again fair enough and i really doubt that the market is even gonna fall to that level so it's gonna be like this 
and the take profit like this and there goes your signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna, it's gonna work very well and bring us a lot of profits let's now take a look at take a look at the pound usd for the pound usd as we can see right now let's move to the daily chart the upper trend is quite strong and the bullish momentum is actually very strong on the pound usd and if we want to analyze the pair on the four hour time frame the very first thing we can notice out here is that the pair has just reversed from Fibonacci 61.8 as well. Uh, as we can see right here, we already had attempt number one of the support and attempt number two as well from the same support as well. So therefore, uh, the pound USD seems like it's going to be good for the buy. Now, the question is where we can start again buying the, the pair. If we want to anal analyze it manually and with the Fibonacci retracement, we can notice right here. Uh, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement number 50, it's also the same level where we can expect from the pair after this rising right here like that, it's going to actually fall a little bit more and it might actually, actually again hit the same uh, level of the support trend line and also the same level was strong key, uh, not key, actually it was just a support zone as well. So if we draw here a support zone like that, we can expect from the pound USD to be ranging inside that support zone uh, for some time before it's gonna start again the rise. Therefore, uh, the pound USD should be good for the short after it touches the Fibonacci retracement number 50 and it actually might fall for another 31 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy. Therefore, pound USD is gonna be good for the buy at the level uh, 1.3887. As you see, guys, I just want, don't want to make the video so long, so I'm just going to give you the, the tips and the signals with uh, some analysis, of course. It's not the deepest analysis you can get, but however, um, it's a reasonable analysis, I think, and this is how actually I'm analyzing the pairs. Now, regarding the safe zone, the safe zone, my friends, should be right here, just below the uh, support right here, because there is a chance that the pair, if it is going to go against our trade, it might fall a little bit more just to hit the support trend line and also might create a, small, uh, a long wick right here, which is going to hit the uh, support level right here. And that is, in my opinion, going to be the maximum before it's going to continue the rise. But however, as I said, that is going to be the maximum. Uh, I think most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise after hitting the Fibonacci retracement number 50 to create another attempt of the support. So therefore, the safe zone should be ranging for about 57 pips only. So therefore, let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone. It's just going to be like this. And regarding the target, we are aiming the peak of the resistance where we actually have started drawing the Fibonacci retracement. So therefore, we are actually aiming about 118 pips of profit right from this signal. So therefore, take profit level uh, 1.40031. Hopefully also, it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's take a look at the AUD UST. The AUD USD is actually very similar setup for the pound USD and the euro USD as well. The pair seems like it's going to continue the rise and therefore we need to look for the strong support levels and start uh, depending on them to find our entries. Now on the four hour time frame, what we can see right here, we had here a strong key support level. And therefore, after the breakout happened right here, the market had actually shit, one second, guys, one second, please, one second. Yeah, I need to put my phone on silence before recording. Sorry about that. So what I was saying is uh, we had here a previous a strong support zone. However, if we notice here something, the market had made actually what seems like a bearish breakout from that support level. However, the resistance didn't even hold the position for even one attempt. And immediately the market has made the bullish breakout from that uh, previous resistance. That support level is keeping its position again as a support. So we are having here a support number one. Now, the thing is, the pair is actually moving in a very strong bullish momentum and the upper trend, as we can see, is very strong. And look at that. The pair is moving in a very obvious upper momentum. Therefore, uh, AUD UST is very obvious for the buy. Now, what we can do is actually waiting for the pair to fall for another 33 pips and place our buy order right here because here we are having support number one and we will place our buy order right on support number two or the second attempt of the support. So let me just make sure it's accurate exactly like this so therefore uh the tech uh, sorry take profit <laughs> the buy order is gonna be at 0 0.77264 and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that support level right here as we can see 
so it's gonna be about 66 swifts which is really fair enough and again i really doubt that the pair is gonna fall for that much i mean i mean i believe that the aod ust is actually gonna continue the rise after hitting our entry level however for the tech profit level we are actually gonna aim right here the peak of that previous not the peak sorry the bottom the, the the bottom level of that previous support level that's i'm i think that is going to be the minimum where the aod US, us is going to reach and after that i think the aod ust if the momentum kept uh, going in the same um, strength most likely the aod ust is going to be uh, reach the peak of the resistance at 0 0.79895 so therefore, we are actually aiming about 150 pips profit from this signal. Therefore, take profit level for the AUD USD. You know something? I want to reduce it because actually we're not giving space for the midweek analysis. So therefore, uh, let's be more realistic. Yes, I'm going to select the peak of the resistance right here as our take profit level. So it's going to be about 111 pips. Uh, we have to give space to see what will going to happen during this week. Maybe something will change the signal. So we, we need to give another signal right on the midweek analysis video. So therefore, I believe within two or three days, this signal is going to be uh, very good and is going to actually hit the take profit level. So therefore, uh, there goes your signal for the AOD USD, and hopefully it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's take a look at the USD CAD. Now as you can see, the USD CAD is facing a strong uh, bearish momentum, and what we can see right here, the continuation of the downtrend here, as you can see, the USD CAD has actually failed to break out from that support, uh, sorry, from that uh, resistance trend line. Actually, I was expecting from the USD CAD personally that it's going to break out. But however, that signal sadly has failed. And as we can see, the USD CAD right now is falling. What we can now expect from the USD CAD? Um, we have to go with the momentum, of course. And therefore, what we, what we can do, um, if we look carefully, guys, here, this is, this is what I'm telling you about. Those who are following my videos and they, are, they have seen the uh, price action video, which I have released like a month ago, by the way. Uh, we have right here a previous support level guys remember i'm on the daily chart so we are having here a previous support level and what we can see right here is a strong bearish breakout candle that is that candle that shape of the breakout candle usually represents a continuation in the breakout usually represents a continuation in the momentum so therefore if i'm not mistaken we can expect from the usd cad to continue the fall if we draw here a support zone like that what we can see right here that the market actually has a closed as a full bar inside that support zone. Um, when the market has reached this level on 24th of February, the market actually has made a strong reversal. As we can see, the market has created here a long tail once it has reached the support zone. However, when the market has just reached the same level of the support zone as well today, 8th March, um, what we can see right here that the market has closed as a full bar inside the support zone indicates that most likely USD CAD is going to continue the fall. So therefore, we need to look at the perfect levels to start again shorting the pair. Let's go to the four hour time frame right now. Now on the four hour time frame, we can expect from the pair to continue the rise just to continue to, to complete the form of the full of the pullback. And we, we can expect to right here on that previous support to become a new uh, resistance and the USD CAD is actually going to continue the fall as simple as that. So therefore, let me just mark it for you. USD CAD is going to be good for the short at 1.25165. And of course, this, the edge of the safe zone should be ranging just right here till the peak of the resistance. So therefore, it's going to be about 50 pips, no more. And so therefore, it's going to be actually uh, like that. Let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone, just like that. Perfect. Now, regarding the take profit, the take profit level, we have to go to the weekly chart right now to identify where we can actually uh, keep the trade running. Now, if we look carefully on the weekly chart, we can see that right here, we had another support level exactly like that. Uh, let me just make it a little bit more. Just like that. Perfect. Yes. Uh, my eyes actually, guys, looking right here. Uh, I'm focusing on that support right here because that's the lowest level of the support. So actually, if we started shorting the USD CAD right here, we are actually aiming about 110 pips of profit, I would say. So therefore, the take profit level is going to be 1.24124. Actually, you know something? I think MetaTrader 4 sometimes is not the best option for us analyzing. I think on the next few weeks, we're going to head to TradingView. 
uh, because they are having better chart and I can zoom out better than that. I mean, I don't like to give the tech profit based on the weekly chart, but however, I cannot do anything. <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this is MetaTrader for. <laughs> so therefore, there goes your signal for the USD CAD and ho I hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. So let's take a, a look right now at the USD JPY. Now regarding the USD JPY, I want to show you something interesting. If we go to the daily chart and we zoom out as maximum, of course, because again, we are on MetaTrader 4, uh, look at that. We can see right here that the USD JPY has been respecting this resistance trend line for quite a long time. Uh, since 2015, guys, this is more than six years, and the pair is actually reversing on that resistance trend line. As we can see, the pair has revisited that, revisited that resistance trend line again uh, on February 2020. And right now, again, we are on the very same level. Now we are not really quite sure what will gonna happen. We have to wait to see any signs of the reversal right here. USDGPY is actually on the very perfect level to start shorting, but however, we have to wait and see what will gonna happen because if the breakout is gonna happen, it's gonna be a huge breakout. Um, if the pair actually make the breakout from that level, I believe the USDGPY is gonna continue the rising for the next, I would say, no less than the next year no less than the next year. It's going to continue the rise at least until it hit the peak of the resistance right here. But however, uh, so far, in my opinion, all the indicators and all the signs says that most likely the USDGBY is going to continue the fall, not the rise. Because as we can see right here, guys, as I told you, this, the, this resistance trend line has been respected since more than six years. And therefore, we can ex expect from the pair right now to break out of that level, especially that the pair is right now reaching the overbought, le overbought uh, level uh, or, or overbought limit. So therefore, I believe the USDGPY is definitely going to be good for the short very soon. So therefore, let's go to the four hour time frame. Oh, sorry, let's stay on the daily chart. On the daily chart, we can see right here that we are, we are we are almost on the very same level of the strong key resistance at 109.310. And as we can see, even later on, the market has reversed exactly on the very same level. That means that we can start, or sorry, we can wait for the USDGPY to rise another to, to rise for another like 33 pips to hit the same level of the resistance at 109.310 and we have to wait to see the reaction of the market how the market is going to react to this level if it's going to be a strong bullish candle of course then don't again, don't ever think to short the USD JPY if you see here a pin bar has appeared if you see the 4 hour time frame if you see the 4 hour candle has closed as a pin bar for example or a reversed hammer then, or as of course a doji, you can start shorting the USD JPY and hoping for the best. But however, uh, so far we have to be to hold our position and be careful what we are doing with the USD JPY because, as I said, we are right now we are stucking. Uh, actually, we are right now stuck on that uh, the peak of the resistance trend line, so we are not really sure how the pair is gonna react to that level. So therefore, USD JPY, I'm gonna give the sig signal for the short because most likely this is what will gonna happen with the. USD GPY is going to continue the fall, in my opinion, not continue the fall. I mean, it's going to reverse. And of course, the stop loss, the, the edge, I don't want to say stop loss, the edge of the safe zone has to be right here uh, above that resistance uh, on 109.853. So therefore, it has to be about 64 pips, which is really fair enough, again, because um, that's the maximum that the pair can reach before we decide to close this trade in loss. However, the take profit level is going to be right here because the market has created here uh, because here we are having also previous uh, resistance and the support as well so therefore this can be considered as a support number one so our take profit level is going to be when the market reverse right from, from here to hit the same level of the support and create support number two support number two is going to be our target so therefore uh, we are aiming about 95 pips uh, profit from this deal. So therefore, the take profit level going to be 108.330. There goes your signal for the USD GPY, and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look at the USD CHF. USD CHF also seems really good for the short right now. The pair has made what seems like a fake breakout from that very strong key resistance at 0.929.80. Um, 
the market had actually fooled us and we thought that it has made the breakout from that resistance but however this eventually has become a fake breakout indicates that the market most likely is gonna actually gonna continue the fall so based on the daily chart uh, we have analyzed that the pair most likely is going to continue the fall let's now go to the four hour time frame to identify where we can indeed start shorting the USDCHF if we look at the four hour time frame this price action is a very strong indicator indicates that the, the market is going to continue the fall so therefore I think it's going to be smarter to wait for the USDCHF to rise for another 20 pips uh, to hit the peak of the resistance right here before it's going to be actually valid for the short so therefore uh, USDCHF is going to be good for the short as uh, 0.93145 exactly like this and of course the peak of the the edge of the safe zone has to be at the peak of the resistance right here as well so it's going to be for about 58 pips only exactly like that now regarding the take profit level the take profit level has to be right here to be right here at the previous support level uh, sorry at uh, the previous resistance right here as we can see we had here a resistance level and we have here a support number one so if we started shorting the USDC, USDCHF right here the target is going to be and at least when the pair is revisiting that broken resistance so therefore we are looking for about 120 pips of profit hopefully who will make them so take profit level 0 0.91937 there goes your signal for the UCCHF and I hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's move to the gold. By the way guys, have you taken my deal of the day on the gold? Hmm, it was really interesting. This is the deal of the day and I mean the pair has actually fooled us, including me actually, because I really thought that the gold... Um, actually I was really sure about my analysis I was really certainly sure that the gold has to go up it has to rise after hitting that strong support zone on 1710 uh, the pair has resumed falling and actually I was really upset because I was certainly sure I mean I, I couldn't understand what's going on but however the gold has reversed just like 15 or 16 pips before hitting the stop loss and immediately has reversed and indeed it 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 it, 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 it flight up i mean i don't know flight the float i don't i don't know the 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 past term of fly sorry guys i'm, I'm honest <laughs> however uh the, the 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 gold has actually uh, rose exactly as i have predicted however i okay legally the signal is valid legally from legal point if you want to say it legally or allegedly uh, the signal is valid and it is now in a profit of uh, 187 pips of profit but I don't know if anyone has kept it running all this time and before hitting the stop loss however I will take the credit for this signal and I'm very proud of it and I believe it was really very good signal and by the way by the way interesting I want to show you something very interesting just for your information guess where the gold has reversed that's right it has reversed also on 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Don't ever forget that. I'm, I'm giving you really the best information on, on Forex on this channel. And I think it's really underrated. And I hope some, someday, um, I mean, the, com the comments are fabulous. And I'm very happy to see these comments. I mean, the comments are just so, so nice. And actually, really, it puts a smile on my face every morning when I read them. And I really appreciate everyone. But however, I just really want also to see more views on this channel because I think we deserve more. However, enough talking about myself. Let's talk about the gold. Let's see now what is going to happen next with the gold. The gold has uh, clearly created a head and shoulders pattern. And right now we can expect from the gold to continue the rise. Now the question is where we can start again buying the gold. Now if we want to use Fibonacci retracement again, we can see that right here, right now the gold is facing Fibonacci retracement number 61.8. Now, of course, we are not saying that the gold is going to continue the fall. What we are saying is that the gold most likely is actually going to create a full, uh, uh, sorry, a pullback to hit 38.2, which was the same level of the strong support level right here um, on 1717.30. I believe that the gold most likely is going to be valid for the buy right here at the very same level of that previous uh, resistance as well. We can see right here the very same level was a strong uh, resistance in the past as well. We can see it right here as well. So therefore, 
if I'm not mistaken, since we are looking for the bullish momentum and since we are seeing here clearly head and shoulders, the market seems like it's going to continue the rise just like that. Uh, the right uh, moment to start buying the gold is going to be definitely at Fibonacci 38.2. So therefore, uh, sorry, let's see, we have to wait for the pair to fall for another about 100 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So therefore, gold is going to be good for the buy at 1717.30, 1, 1, I would say. And this, the edge of the safe zone has to be ranging just right here below um fibonacci 23.6 or below that support level exactly where the pair has reversed so it the safe zone should be ranging for another i would say 126 pips only let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone it's gonna be just like that however right now for the take profit the take profit level has to be at least no less than the peak of the resistance right here at 1740 because after that we're gonna see what will gonna happen more in my opinion the gold is actually gonna continue the rise you know something the tech profit has to be higher than that the tech profit has to be higher than that because most likely this is where the gold is aimed yes exactly i was looking at the at the bottom level of that support right here which was also a resistance in the past. So therefore, that's going to be exactly my target. This is where I'm expecting from the goal to continue the rise to. So therefore, uh, we are actually aiming about 311 pips profit from this signal. So therefore, the take profit level has to be on 1748.30. There goes your signals for this week. And I believe it's going to be another very uh, successful week and very good win, uh, good, good week for everyone. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you, my friends, uh, and I would like to thank you for watching.